Today, I'm going to be hosting a mega build battle, and the theme is going to be based around the Garden of Banban. Ban. We are each going to build an 8x8 bedroom themed around a specific character. Cookie will be representing Stinger Flynn. Ingus will be building Banban's Ban bedroom. Mai is going to do Captain Fiddles. I am going to be Jumbo Josh. India will be a Pila Bird. Ali is going to be doing Nab Nab. And finally, East Seer will be Bambolina. Before we start building, comment down below which is your favorite character. So let's get started on building this bedroom. The sole reason why I chose to build Jumbo Josh's bedroom specifically is because I had the idea of wanting to build his bed frame to be the elevator that he jumps on at the end of chapter one. I thought that would be such a cool idea. So with custom shapes, I'm going to be attempting to make it. Also, I know my voice sounds a little bit raspier than normal. That's because I was recently sick and I lost my voice during it. But I'm doing my best to do this video because I was really excited to post it and I hope you guys enjoy it. So give it a thumbs up for me to feel better. Thank you. <laughs> Now that I have completed pretty much the base of the elevator, or well, semi-completed, I now use the cylindrical shapes in order to attempt making the fence as similar as it can be to the one in the Garden of Banban Ban on the elevator. In the game, the elevator also has this some type of light, so I did my best to replicate it using some custom shapes and a rod. And then because the elevator at the end of chapter one, as I said, it falls down because of Jumbo Josh, I was like, why not make the bed or the elevator, whatever you wanna call it, look like it's actually falling and broken down. So I duplicated the one that I had already made and then I combined both of them. So it looked like it was kind of broken. And then later on, I will make a Jumbo Josh underneath the elevator just like it is in the beginning of chapter two i did also do my best to attempt making the scanner or the key card type of thing that they use in the game in order to open specific doors they had one on the elevator so i used custom shapes in order to make it and then later on you're going to be seeing me duplicate it and put it around the whole entire bedroom just for some awesome decoration since there is technically still a bed there has to be a way to access it so i decided to make my very own custom broken ladder because it is a broken down elevator so the ladder being intact wouldn't make any sense but here i am making it in order to get access to the actual bed and use it Nearing the end of chapter two, Jumbo Josh actually disappears and he leaves behind this like blue slime. So that's what I attempted to do here right next to the ladder that is going to be leading outside. And speaking of outside, I was like, I don't want to use a boring old Blacksburg door when I can actually custom make one to look like the ones that are actually in the game. So that's what I'm doing exactly here using some custom shapes, of course. Once I finished making my custom door, I decided to duplicate it, of course, and then I put it against this wall with an opening of like a window and then have an opening effect because uh, that way it could actually look like a door if it was open, you know. And then I saw that the door kind of bypasses fenced area that I have of my 8x8 bedroom. Not drastically, but I was like, it would only be fair if I took out a square from the back and extend it from the front. So it is still an 8x8 room. Don't call me out on that. Next up, another Another important thing in the game are these buttons that you have to press in order to like open some stuff. I don't know. Basically, I'm going to be using uh, some custom shapes, of course, and I'm going to be making my very own custom button because it is a big part of the actual gameplay. In my bedroom build, I also wanted to include a bathroom, but I was like, okay, how do I spice up this bathroom and make it scream a Jumbo Josh? And I was like, what better way of making a bathroom than including Jumbo Josh inside of the bathtub? I know with the transparent decal, it looks a little funky right now. And I don't know, it just looks weird, but trust the process, okay? For the bathroom doors, of course, I'm not using them boring Bloxburg doors again. So I'm duplicating the doors that I have for the front. Also, Bloxburg, I don't mean it when I say I, they're boring doors, okay? It's boring for this type of theme. Anyways, I'm duplicating the doors that I had already custom built. And I'm also duplicating this key card that I had used already in my build, along with this red button and putting it inside of the bathroom, of course. Not to spoil the game, there is also another scene where Jumbo Josh comes out of the wall as you're 
you're being chased by Bambolina. So here is what I'm attempting to remake that scene of. Basically, Jumbo Josh just coming out. Yeah, it'll make more sense when uh, the decal actually loads, okay? For the cabinets of the bathroom, I actually wanted to make them custom, of course, because I'm extra, uh, just in case you're new. And what I wanted to do is have the counter leaking, or well, the sink leaking, and then for the actual cabinets of the counter, I'm going to be using some custom shapes, having them open and slanting downwards as if they're broken and Jumbo Josh like punch them or something like that. Just, just pretend you understood, okay? Thank you. <laughs> In the game, there's also something else that is pretty important, which is the actual control that controls your drone. And if you haven't played the game or at least seen like a gameplay of this game, then you probably don't understand what the heck I'm saying. But uh, trust me, this control is very necessary in order to move the drone and press the buttons. So I decided to custom make it using some custom shapes, of course. I don't remember which chapter this was, but there was a chapter where you had to walk around this type of... Of, I don't even know what to call it, but there were signs above doors and I thought that was a pretty cool idea to remake. So I used these lights and I made it just so it looks like the construction signs that they had above the doors. And later on, I'm going to be using a decal in order to say like Josh's sector or something like that. Trust the process. In the scene where Jumbo Josh is actually underneath the elevator because he got crushed from it, the room is all black and then above it is one singular light. So that is exactly what I'm going to be attempting to represent. And then underneath the elevator, of course, I have to attempt making Jumbo Josh using some custom shapes. And I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I now go back into the bathroom because I had an idea. In the previous scene that I had mentioned where Jumbo Josh is punching the wall, there are doors on the ground and against the wall because he broke the wall, which had the doors. And I thought that would be such a good addition to add into the build. So of course I use some custom shapes in order to represent that. I had added pretty much all the necessary items and accessories that I wanted to have in my Jumbo Josh's bedroom, but this corner was quite empty and I was like, how else could I incorporate Jumbo Josh inside of this bedroom? So I was like, why not make just like a comfy corner type of thing to represent the other characters? So on this wall, I will have the whole family of the Garden of Ban Ban along with like a little seating area, some cameras, some speakers, and whatever else I think would fit and match the theme of this build. If you've played the game before, then you know each of the characters have their own saying plastered on the wall and Jumbo Josh's saying is eat vegetables and fruits to become strong like me. So I thought why not represent this by adding a bunch of or actually a few fruits and vegetables to the build just so I could fill up another area and corner of the actual bedroom because I had no other ideas so I end up making some broccoli, tomato, and some grapes. I go back into the bathroom once again. I have added some decals. As you can see, Jumbo Josh is peeking out through the corner. And now I'm going to be making his arm coming out as if he's like slamming the door against the wall and breaking it. So that's what I'm using these custom shapes for. It does take me a while to get the, the right type of shaping to look like an actual arm. But I think I end up getting the overall type of look that I wanted to go with. So I was really proud how it turned out. The bathroom still felt a little bit empty. So I decided to add in some clutter items based basically just random items. As you can see, I literally placed a shovel on top of the sink. <laughs> so I tried filling up the space with at least anything I could find and some pretty random stuff because this is a broken down bathroom and I wanted it to have that exact effect. I also realized I had exactly no windows in my build, so I had to do something about it and I decided to use this window. I put some rust type of look on it and then I use a transparent shape in order to make it look more dull and also put a decal on it to look like it was broken, used a curtain to make it look more spooky, and then I filled up some shelves right next to the toilet just so it could look like some type of thing part of the laboratory scene. While I go ahead and add some last minute decorations, I saw these light switches and I was like, what if I combined all of these light switches? It kind of looks like it's part of a machine or something like that. So I was like, you know what? This is perfect, so I'll include it. This specific corner of the actual bedroom was quite empty too. So I decided to add in like a trash can and also continue adding in some items to make it look like it was part of the laboratory scene of the actual gameplay, just like I had done slightly in the bathroom. I also decided to make my very own looking syringe. I don't know if it looked like an actual syringe, but you know what? I, I did my best with what I had. 
To finish up this little corner that I was working on previously, I'm adding in a few pillows to make it look more comfortable. I also added in a bean bag, and then I'm going to add in a blanket just to make this corner look more comfy and cozy. Although I had that one singular light above this little area just to brighten up the place, I also felt like adding some string lights would be a cool effect and also would add on to the kindergarten feel that the Garden of Ban Ban has. And then I go around adding some minor decorations to the rest of the build just so no space around the bedroom would feel empty. After adding in some last finishing touches of my bedroom and bathroom for this build, I think we are pretty much done. And now it's time for your favorite time and mine. It is tour time.
Make sure to comment down below which is your favorite Bin Bin character bedroom. Also, join my Discord server for a chance to be in the next mega build battle. Bye!